Hey Kathleen here. I'm redoing this Belgu Energy Star Dehumidifier Intelligent Control and it comes with this manual which is really really valuable. Um, I want to tell you the things I love about it. One thing that I wish was a little different and just starting with this, this does come in English and in Spanish. You need to keep this 20 inches away from every side. So this indicates that you need to have 20 inches around you and then this gives you your information about your controls which I'll show you in a second. But things I love about it, it's on these caster wheels, so easy to move around. I have it right now, I'm in my basement, have this up on the workbench because I want to show it to you, it's easier. And normally I have it in by the sump pump and we do a continuous drain using this and you just pop that hose right into the side here and it drains down. The other way you can do it is with this adapter, you can put it on here and add a garden hose if you need to extend the hose further away to wherever, wherever you're draining it. And so it's, it's on the smaller side, but this is what um, one of the guys that I brought in here to, to, temp, to help me determine if there was mold down here, which there wasn't, but it was just smelling musty. My sinuses were acting up. And ever since I got this, and I got um, an, a HEPA air purifier, my sinuses don't bother me. Now this does have this little filter here, so it's catching any big particles, and this can just be rinsed out. And then this is where the air is going in, the air is coming out here, and it's collecting the water. I did not get one that had like a HEPA filter or anything like that because I have a HEPA filter on my air purifier. So very easy to slide out, grab the handle, take and drain, if you're not doing a continuous drain, and then easy to just slide back in goes back in automatically goes back on so it's auto shut off and then when you push it back in it goes back on to whatever setting you had it on let's turn this on so 54 percent is what it's set to and it's actually at it looks like it says 53 so it's going to change on its own i have it set oh i did i need to set it again i'm gonna oh, i think this is set so set this to comfort mode and when you set it to comfort mode it will automatically, intelligently determine based on your ambient te temperature in the room what relative humidity it should get to. So if it's less than 65 degrees, it's going to get to around 55 degree relative humidity. If it's over 77, it's going to try to get it to 45 degree um, humidity, so on and so forth. So that's all here in this booklet. So you can read up on that. Continuous mode is the mode it's on by default. And you can also set it to manual mode so that you can have a targeted humidity range um, that you can, you know, if for some reason you want something different than the comfort mode. Then you've got a timer option. You can decide if you want it on for a certain amount of time. You can look at the wind speed option right here. You can change the wind speed. Again, this is a very easy to use, simple dehumidifier, but it's intelligent. That's what makes it so easy. I don't have to worry about it. Very easy to drain if you are doing it by hand. Very simple for anybody. They don't have to be that strong because it's a fairly small capacity. It does do a large square footage area. It has adjustable fan speed so that if you want to pull um, a little more strongly because you have different rooms, which is what we have, we don't have one just but one big open area. It works great and we have been really, really happy with it.